guts are sent down to the mountain with the winds which are strong enough to rip off your sails apart to break the mast or even to cause the boat to capsize. So are we in for a treat? What, what kind of treat? The last miles but only 22 knots of wind but yeah. speed of 8 knots like we're flying over the water. Yes. Because we had lightning strike and a lot of things went wrong in the boat. And I am Germen. And this is our son, Benjamin. 2020 has been a year of adventures and challenges. We drove all the way from Amsterdam to Didem, Turkey to get to our sailing home. We did a total refit and now we can finally start sailing around the world while setting up and expanding our businesses. Join our adventures and welcome on board. Sailing now from the island Kalitea to Patras to the mainland of Greece. We have uh, 15 knots of wind. We have a boat speed of uh, 5.1, 5.2. Sails are beautiful trimmed. So this is uh, hardly any waves. It couldn't be better. We're only not going west. We're going more north than west. What does it mean, Rihanna, when we go north instead of going west? No Malta, no weather frame to cross towards Malta, so hopefully somewhere along when we oh, climb more north, Greece says, okay, boats from Turkey are welcome now, but I don't think so, so it will probably be Montenegro or Croatia. Yeah, no, hopefully the, um, in two days there is a new uh, new appointment between Greece and Turkey and maybe they will allow boats from Turkey so we can check into Greece but our plan now is to go further up north to go to Montenegro Croatia cross to Venice so that's the plan but let's see it's uh, it really depends on um, on the wind in the coming weeks Waar ben? Ja. Nee, thuis. Uh, we're sailing, we have around 13 knots of wind. Speed is at this moment 6.1 knots. Gerben reefed the main sail for me because we're going a little bit steep. And now he is fixing some ropes over there that got loose. And Benjamin, uh, I gave him a movie just to settle down a little bit. We're enjoying the sail. What? Yummy, yummy! Okay, and I think I need to make some uh, food for our little one. So we were sailing with, uh, let's say, 5 knots up to 10 knots. But uh, now it's blowing 30 knots of wind, we're making good speed. And it's really funny because on the charts it says that uh, 15 miles further east there is a 
there's a section and it say it can blow so hard here that you have the risk of demasting your your vessel so um, we have to be careful here when in the northeast winds blows avoid the coast of malaya the winds in the area are usually blustery and violent guts guts are sent down to the mountains with the winds which are strong enough to rip off your sails apart to break the mast or even to cause the boat to capsize you should keep a distance at least of three nautical miles from the coast and even to be ready to loosen your sails the streamers should also be kept their distance as the waves close to the coast are irregular and accompanied by strong current so we, uh, we put two reefs in the, in the main and we are still able to, uh, to achieve a reach of 35 degrees to the wind. Yeah, with the new sails and with Finchelade on it, it's uh, very satisfied. The captain is very satisfied. <laughs> when it's uh, 32 knots we had 34 knots of, uh, of wind just outside and now we are anchored here it's a beautiful I think an ancient city you can see uh, see over there some old houses and just anchored here behind the mountain so we have uh, hopefully not that much of guts because here is now so that's perfect but uh, yeah great so I just had my shower after uh, our quite windy sail yesterday and my saltiness is gone uh, but we ended up in this bay in the southern part of Greece and it's really beautiful you have this old villages up there and then here you have these small houses with the boulevard and the beach uh, but it's really beautiful here but it's going to be a short stop we're waiting out some uh, bad weather more north we have a, a small weather window to get some height up to the north and then on monday probably we're going to have good winds to uh, to make some miles towards montenegro and if we are very lucky, we hear some uh, news from Greece that they allow uh, vessels from Turkey. I don't get my hopes up because the uh, political situation between Greece and Turkey is interesting. <laughs> After a stormy night, we're gonna set sail further north. But this is really a magical place. We got a, two beautiful bottles of um, rosé from Chateau Favori. We met um, yeah, three beautiful souls yesterday on a sailboat, very young, and they uh, stopped their corporate careers, bought a sailboat, and they are just sailing around. Yesterday they came to us on their dinghy and they say, uh, "You want some tuna?" And we said, of course we want some tuna and they uh, because they catched their second fish a big tuna on their way from Santorini to here yeah we had a nice uh, nice evening together so uh, it's great to see more like-minded souls because of the hard border between Greece and Turkey we didn't see that many in um, in Turkey but now here in Greece uh, more and more so that's great so we're gonna sail up north today uh, from here all the way up here to the to here to or to Coroni or somewhere here on the islands and then hopefully Sunday we will go all the way up here Sakintas Kefalonia Corfu
we just tagged and it's really convenient now with the new Ray Marine setup because we only push the buttons on the autopilot like this one, this two and then it automatically makes um, a tag of 90 degrees so Jan and I can only, uh, only need to handle the sails and it's really convenient Just dropped anchor here because uh, there's a storm coming uh, for the night. I had to buy some bananas for Benjamin, so I was asking a local guy, hey, do you know where I can buy some uh, gasoline for the dinghy? And then he said, uh, yeah, yeah, come over. And we got into contact and we shared a little bit our story. And it turned out he's a local guy here and a captain and he bought a piece of land that is completely self-sustaining. And it turned out he's driving a Land Rover Defender as well. So he said, oh, come on, I will bring you to the, to the gas station. Yes, and now we're going together with Lily, get you in. So Benjamin just woke up. So he said, okay, let's go to the dinghy, let's go to Lily. Lily! So guys! Wow, Benjamin! Wow! Lily! Yes? What a nice position! Wow, Benjamin! And? You like it? Papa, can I have a bezine? beat into the race it won't stop us to get uh, chicken and good potatoes I don't want all those negative pipes on me. 
yeah, of course you want to uh, help people out when in need and you want to call for help if you're help in need. And just before we went, we put Benjamin to bed and we are quite happy because it's quite rough right now. Benjamin just sleeps through everything so that's good. And uh, Captain is happy I think. Yeah, 25 up to 30 knots of wind. We are waves two and a half, three meters. So it's uh, quite rocky and the wind will pick up. So yeah, let's see how it goes today. But uh, at the moment it's pretty cool. Just uh, reef the main, the two reefs, because uh, the wind is picking up above the 30 knots. So we have full Genoa out and two reefs in the main. It's still making a speed of uh, 7.2, 7.5 knots. as possible but if you look very closely to our recent vlogs you can see that uh, sometimes we have the plastic bottles here and that's because we've had the water poisoning from the water maker and uh, Cameron and I are already drinking water again from the water maker but Benjamin got sick again so we think that his digestion isn't ready yet for the water from the water maker so we're taking it safe and he gets Spring water from plastic bottles, not the most perfect thing, but um, yeah, it's better than having a little one. Very ill, very sick. What do you think, Captain? Are we in for a treat? What, what kind of treat? The last miles with only 22 knots of wind, but yeah. speed of 8 knots, like we're flying over the water. Yes, we don't have any waves, we are behind the island now. It's like uh, fouling. Yes. Foiling. 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 Benjamin, are you ready? Yep. Okay. Go. Go. Okay, come on. Okay. Oh, yeah, well done. To set sail. It's like our new way of living uh, currently with Greece that we're not allowed to stay. So it's sailing, sleeping, sailing, sleeping 
and waiting for good winds. So we dropped anchor here yesterday with the, in the dark. It's really beautiful over here. And uh, we took a swim, we took a shower. The wind is uh, picking up a little bit, so it's time to sit still again. And this time it's gonna be the... Time for the gen anchor probably. And yesterday when we dropped anchor, oh, yeah. it was under the stars, we saw the Milky Way and Rihanna was on the front and I was walking towards her and then all of a sudden I saw not a shooting star like just a shooting star but this was really with the, with with tail. the tail and just a like big massive tail it was it was really like, magic just like in the cartoons yes so we're gonna sail again Benjamin is uh, chilling downstairs so that's good it's gonna be a nice and easy sail well let's hope so I would love to do the Gen Acker. Will be the first time, very excited. So we have all the lines prepared for uh, a week now and we haven't used it. So this will be the first time. Benjamin. <laughs> I'm gonna make some lunch. Just need to sail around the corner and then we can uh, maybe hoist the Jan Acker. That would be amazing. So what we're gonna do, it looks a little bit dirty, but it isn't. It are all yeah, things that we didn't eat during the whole week. So I'm gonna make something from all the leftovers. And uh, once a week we have chicken or fish. And uh, this week it was chicken and rice. And yeah, so I have some chicken leftovers some uh, tomato sauce, rice, we have yummy melon and then some tuna and things. So I'm uh, just gonna wrap something up from what we have and then we have uh, a lunch. Engine off. Engine off, can I go on? And how did it go? Almost perfect. Everything went well, but I only forgot to attach the, the return line from the sock. I can't pull the sock back, so we have to do it. Uh, I have to take it, take it back. So that's the uh, that's only th that's the only stupid thing. But on the other hand, it's going. On board without falling in the water. That's good, right? It is, it is. Completely dry. <laughs> so now we're gonna hoist it again. So we can put the socket around it. This is the magic if the sun is almost 
setting and you only hear the waves in the wind. I think that's the beauty of sailing. So surrounded by one, two, three sailing boats, all motoring. We're gonna drop anchor over there, just around the corner. But that's beautiful because when we sail in, furl the Genoa, we are in the wind, furl the, the head sail, the main sail, take position, drop the anchor, start, uh, start the engine, a little bit backwards, pull it, and then you're done. Just five minutes engine. How is it, Captain? Yeah, okay. So what happened is we dropped anchor, we put it in reverse, we put uh, 17 meters anchor chain out, and then there was another boat and he dropped anchor at the sa almost at the same spot as we did. Didn't pull back. So, so his anchor did not set. And he didn't set his anchor, so I thought, I think it's okay. It's not windy. It, no, yeah, but it's gonna be windy. Okay. And but he told me he said yeah yeah everything is okay it's 20 I, I think it's around 20 meters deep here I put 40 meters of anchor chain that's too little and uh, no it's okay it's okay so are you alone yeah I'm alone so are you insured yes yeah, I'm insured it's okay no, let's go for it <laughs> <laughs> well rather not do uh, another refit <laughs> no 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 but he couldn't speak English that well so I didn't want to bother him that no. much. But it is beautiful here. It is. Look at all the caves. You want to go for a dinghy ride? Mm, okay. Oh, oh. Go. 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 go out, go out. The beautiful jellyfish are still here, so I'm gonna take another dive with them. So probably it's possible to have a new washing machine. The local guy is gonna help us out here. 